Hey tubers, me again. Um, this one might be kind of fun. So you look in the background over there. This is from that hoard of stuff that I got from the landscaper. If you haven't seen that video, it says I robbed the landscaper. Go back and see that one. But anyways, what I have is we have a friend, one of my bosses, and she wants to give her a blower. You know, have all these parts, all these pieces, and I have decided out of the hoard, we've all got engines. But as far as compression and stuff goes, Out of all of these ones back here, yeah, there's a, there's a few runners, but I think this is going to be the best candidate. I think it was originally an ES, maybe an ES, the one that taken because it has that shredder on there, and I don't know why, because all this part over here seems fairly intact. I don't know why. Um, it ended up in the hoard. So, you know, I like to think things through. This one's got really good compression. You can hear it. Uh, this, it didn't have a lot of blowing power anymore because... There's a piece that goes on here. It sucks up the leaves, chews and shreds it, and all that stuff. Well, we're going to get rid of that. I have a decent blower, as long as it'll fit on here. This is from a 250LN, not an ES. We'll put that, we'll put this on there, so it'll have the, the good blowing power. Now, I don't know, on a regular ES like this, there is a micro switch that goes right there. So when the, the leaf shredder piece is on there, it makes contact with that switch. I don't know if it opens it or closes the circuit. So we got to figure that out, figure out what's going on because we're not, we're not going to connect that part. We're going to try to take and make it so it's just a regular blower and put a cover like this on the outside so it doesn't suck your pant leg up. So we're going to do whatever we got to do to make that work. One, two, three bolts, one. I don't know. We'll worry about, we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. But there's the, there's the proper cover. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take that flywheel off. Actually, you know what? Let's just see. Let's see if we can get it to cough. We got to do a couple of things here first, though. I'm going to take and pull this out. We're going to ground out that spark plug. And see what the see what the default is on that that wire over there. Maybe we'll connect the wire. Should probably have a light on, eh? See if this helps you. Nah, no, not really. So that's what we're gonna do first. We are just getting into it today, guys. Take that spark plug out just to make it easier. See if we got some support. I don't think I still even know the answer. The right answer is if you use a spark tester, does it tell you if the spark plug's any good or does it just tell you if the magneto is good or the coil is good? Man, that thing is in there. Should put a spark plug in there. And then also, you want to know a sad story? I was going through uh, some of those engines over there. I had one with that really, really good compression and all that fun stuff. See, this thing's just oiled out. Spark plug's fairly new. Am I even in the picture? Yeah, spark plug's fairly new. So we're going to figure out why this thing ended up over here. Uh... Anyways, they cross-threaded the spark plug. So, 
the gas at the price of one of these blowers. They just decided that was it. I probably would have helicoiled it. You guys know what that is? I probably would have helicoiled it and just said, like, that's it. That's the last spark plug it's going to get. But, I mean, crap, you can get a you can get a whole season out of a machine using it, using Healy coil. Okay, so like we've got this. We got the plug grounded out. We're looking for spark right now. Let me get this crap out of the way. We're looking for spark. And if we don't, if we don't get it right now, I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna put those wires together and see if that's what the default is. Oh look. We got a ton. So we don't have to do anything to these. We don't have to do anything to these wires right here. So if those are connected, let's see what that does. Do I get zapped? No, nope. I'm not getting zapped. And there is no spark. Tons. Woohoo! Alright, so that's a good deal. That's a good deal for us. Compression seems good. To me, anyway, it seems very good. Get that out of here. Get this out of there. Um, I'm going to take and put a little carb spray in there. See if we can't just get this thing to fire off. All right, you know what? This thing has not been running in a while, obviously. It's just been sitting outside. So I'm just going to take a pour a little bit of gasoline on the plug. We're going to put that in there like that. We're just looking for it to, to cough. That's what I always say, to cough. Maybe we'll get it to run for about a second or so. And if, if that works, then we only have one other thing to address, and that'll be fuel delivery, which is carburetor. So there's that. Get this gasoline out of the way. And then I need to take and hold these wire. I gotta hold these wires out of the way just in case that thing starts up. I don't want to suck them up. So I got a clamp. Let's just take and hold these wires off to the side. I just don't want these to get caught into there and get sucked up. So I put that clamp on the front of it. Okay. We were just looking for a cough, you guys. Oh, did you hear it? Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Yeah, I know. Don't use carb spray. I heard it the first time. That's all we need. Okay, she's a runner. Let's uh let's see if we can't just take and put everything all back together on this thing. Make sure that I have the tubes and everything for it. I'm pretty sure I do. And then uh Wash it up, clean it up, and then it's going to be a gift for my boss's friend. So, all right, I'll be right back. Okay, it's looking a little cluttered, but here's what I what I kind of figured out. Uh, this blower wheel is going to work. The, wherever I put it. That really nice looking cover is not gonna work. So we do have to take and put an ES 
back on there out of my hoard I do not have the cover plate but I want this to go on there as you can see it's still kind of a little bit of a gap so I'm gonna make this snug up down here and then there's three attachment points I don't know if I'll get all three but I am gonna key off of one of these uh, little holes up here and then maybe uh, make it so it'll go in like this and then have the screw hold it into place and I just want it to look good so it almost fits but see that big giant gap in there so I need to take in it's it's hitting on the inside of this so I'm gonna take about a half an inch off of that first and see how much closer that gets and then we'll we'll modify that and then this is what I use I carry like a, a bunch of DeWalt stuff I do a lot of what do you call it a lot of construction so I'm going to use that oscillating tool to, to cut that there's my DeWalt hoard right over there so I just like that 20 volt max brushless platform so I'm going to zoom in. You can see what I'm trying to do here. I just want to take about a half an inch all the way off that top rim and then see what happens. So I'm not going to bore you with a lot of it, but you can just see how I, I work this little tool thing to go around. piece over here you see it that piece over there is kind of holding it up a little bit so we're real close to what we want all right guys you see what I'm doing I'm just gonna be I'm just screwing around with this and then I'll come back and we'll look at the finished product see if it's worth it okay guys so while I'm cleaning up the mess this is what we ended up with it's kind of like what I wanted in Spanish, they, they call it fail. It's ugly. <laughs> but it does the job. We wanted it to be like somewhat flush mount. I did do that. I keyed off the screw. I used the screw on the, on the inside. So, all right. That's a problem that's not a problem anymore because now that cover will go on here. And all you got to do is like you got to start... We got to bring. I'm going to bring these wires up through, or maybe I'll maybe I'll pull them back, pull them back through, and then just I don't know. They don't need to be connected anywhere. I could just like snip them and leave them loose. Cut one one length, cut one the other length, so that there's no chance that they'll ever touch, and then that's it. Because that was for the micro switch. Remember, that's the micro switch that goes for the shredder plate. We're not doing the shredder plate. We're just putting a safety cover on it we did that okay so now i'm just going to take and put this bad boy back together and then let's work on the carburetor and geez should probably go find the tubes okay cleaning up my mess yeah 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 i'm messy 
I am in the middle of a sneezing attack, you guys. Hey, so anyways, before we button this thing up, we gotta switch out that flywheel. It is, it's an Allen. Can you see that? I don't know what size it is, but that's what it is. It spins in this direction. So when it spins, it kind of, it always tries to tighten itself down here. So when you're looking at flywheels, uh, fans, and stuff like that, look and see which way that those go. That's the direction that the nut is going to come off. So on this one, it's normal, like righty tighty, lefty loosey. So we're going to take this one off in the left direction. So I just got an impact. I'm going to hold it. See if we can't zip that off. There it is. Then the other thing I got to make sure of is that you still in the picture? Yeah. Make sure you see those little holes right there. We need those to line up right there. In case you didn't know, guys, behind this, that's the actual like has the magnets and the for the pickups. The coil is back behind there. So, hi, Buck. That's my friend. My friend just came in to visit me. You guys want to see Buck? Hey, Buck. He's out. All right. So let's get this. Get this lined up. And it looks. Yep. It fits. We're going to put the washer back on there. We are not going to put that shredder in there. Take that out. Got the washer. Looks like the washer has a little bit of a cup to it. That's the way it went on, just like that. See the little square? That was from that right there. So, let me put this on. Reverse the impact. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Man, impact sure to make your life a lot easier. Okay, so that's good. That's good on there. This is what I was thinking about on these these wires. There's where the screw goes, right there for that. So I'm gonna take and put one wire over here, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna snip that one right there. Call that good. Oh. Uh oh. I just thought of something. Well, that makes contact. No, it shouldn't make any difference. So that the, the kill switch is still going to work. No. Just going to nip that wire right there. We're going to take, once we take and put that screw in over here, we'll leave this one. See, because this is way over here. This is way over here. They can't, they can't line up. They can't touch. There will not be a, a problem for us later on. Nice. It looks like it's gonna fit. It should. It came off of here. Yep. Okay. All right. We gotta put in all these little the locks for the tube. This goes. How does that go in there? Oh. It's there. goes like that so when you push that in that goes that lifts that up with a screwdriver so normally we want to take these off you take and you jam a screwdriver in here on that end that toggles that piece is it that piece that looks like the spring part that toggles that piece open so you can get the tube in and out let's just go with that 
What do you think, guys? Let's just go with that. Okay, I'm gonna button this up, guys. I get all the screws, and then uh, I'll come back and let's see what see what we need to do to that carburetor. Find the tubes. Call this one done. What do you think? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so. Of course, as luck would have it, I don't have that. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. Probably just going to order one. Just get that, get that too. Anyways, um, so I put some gas in it. Check this out. Stop is down, run is up. Give it a prime. There's a choke. Half choke. See if I can't just find that that piece right there. Ooh, she's smoking. She was just dying to be a runner. We got real lucky on that carburetor, you guys. Let it run. I mean, it's running on its own. It's got picked up. I put my hand over it to kind of make it seem like it's got the tube on it. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. What do you think? Just got to get that tube. It doesn't look too bad. So I always use WD... WD-40 to kind of clean them up a little bit. He's smoking. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that smoke coming off. Try to get it. She's smoking. There you go. Now you can see it. It just could be like greasy hands on the muffler or something. We'll check it out. Anyways, yeah, I just got to get, uh, we're going to get this, order up this tube, put it together, clean it up, bada bing, bada boom. Hey guys, it was just a fun one. Thanks for watching. we making uh, lemonade out of lemons again. So, hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next episode. That's it. I'm done. I'm out.